Hey everyone, my name is Christina and I'm studying my third year of engineering in Geetam Bangalore. Now, before I start talking about what I came here to say, I want you all to picture something. Your favorite Netflix show has come back for season three and you just rush to your room because you want to start binge watching the entire series before some naysayer gives you a spoiler that just ruins the entire show. I know, been there. And then you realize that you have an assignment that you need to submit at this week end and then you're like hey you know what i'm just gonna do it tomorrow because we have time right and so that day ends the next day when you sit down to tackle your assignment you realize it's a friend's birthday and you're like i'm gonna do this tomorrow and so on and so on and so on until you reach the night before the deadline and now you're just stressed burning the midnight oil regretting every postponement you ever did and that, my friends, is called procrastination. And for those of you who, have, who are hearing the word for the very first time, don't fret. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, procrastination is the act of delaying something that must be done, but is often delayed because it is boring and unpleasant. We've all been there. We've all done that. In fact, I was guilty of being a class A procrastinator. Most of us in this generation, or Gen Z, as we like to call ourselves, pride ourselves in putting the pro in procrastination. But why? Why do we glorify it so much? What we don't realize is that what we're glorifying so much can cause us huge issues tomorrow. Studies have shown that people who tend to procrastinate have issues like anxiety, mental, uh, mental health issues, and worse job, uh, worse job performances and academic performances. Sounds scary, doesn't it? And now if you're thinking, Okay, am I really exaggerating all of this? No, I'm not. Look it up on the internet. You'll know I'm right. Okay, and if you're like, I want to kick this habit to the curb because, you know, better time management, keep listening. So what I want to talk about today is to understand and overcome procrastination. And I have just six very simple, easy to follow tips for you. Tip number one is to have a place or a work den, as I call it, to isolate yourself with no distractions so you can start working ASAP. And this means no more mom bringing snacks or no more you getting up because you couldn't find a charger. Keep everything that you need right next to you so that it limits your chances of getting distracted. Okay, now that you're all settled in, time for tip number two. Tip number two is to have yourself divide the task that you have into many tasks so that it makes it easier for you to follow and to work upon. Now that, you, now that you do that, once you start tackling your work, you find that your confidence grows with every step that you take and every mini milestone that you accomplish. Okay, after all of this, you're wondering, okay, I've, I've done this, but I wanna take a break. I'm really overworked. Okay, I'll tell you something that I've done before so many times, which has caused me so many problems. It's called spending way too much time on social media in the name of a 10 minute break. What do I mean by that? Picture this, you're on social media, just scrolling through the reels, and then you look at the time and you realize you spent 45 minutes watching people dance to whatever latest trending song is there on Instagram. And now you're like panicking, full on panicking, because you just have to finish all your work in a much smaller time frame. Okay, to Stop all of this. There's something called having an accountable reward system. What does that mean? Having an accountable reward system involves having a parent or a friend keep checking on you so that you know you you stick to the time that you kept for yourself and you're like, hey, okay, my break is done. I need to start working. This keeps you, you know, tethered to whatever that you need to do. It, it actually makes things easier. It might be a little difficult in the beginning because, come on, who enjoys giving away your phone or, you know, whatever you're reading to your parent? It makes you feel like a kid again. But hey, it helps. And now, fourthly, one of the main reasons that we humans procrastinate is because we seek instant gratification. That's why we're so much more inclined to click that next button episode on Netflix than to actually study. Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Think of yourself, you know, in like a future sense and just visualize yourself. If you feel, if you see yourself in like, you know, in the future, 
just shaking your head and regretting that moment where you decided to still watch youtube or netflix or whatever you do you were doing instead of actually doing getting your work done it's time for you to close your distractions and get your work done asap because trust me you will not regret getting your work done putting your all into it instead of just in the last minute doing something and submitting whatever you know you could have instead of giving it your best now Tip number five is to make your goals less intimidating for yourself. Being mentally prepared to tackle whatever you want to do is a huge part of overcoming procrastination. Instead of being vague and saying, "Hey, I'll just study math tonight," mentally prepare yourself to say, "Okay, I'm going to do algebra." That makes it easier for you to focus and get your work done. Now, this is a lot of information, but sometimes we just keep on. you know making steps and doing a lot of planning to further procrastinate what we should have just done in the beginning that is to jump right in so that would be my final tip for you if you are someone who takes planning as a way to procrastinate jump right in go ahead and start working and everything else might just fall into place because you can only go up from there progress progress and progress thank you Thank you.